Hey guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video demoing the latest improvements to Halo on the Paranoid Android ROM. Now, I am running the latest alpha, I think it's alpha 9, I'll put the links in the description if you want to go ahead and flash that. Don't forget you do need to flash the latest G apps after flashing the ROM because they're not included, otherwise you won't have stuff like the Play Store and all that good stuff. So, one of the most wanted features from Halo was the ability to have it hidden 99% of the time and then call it back when you wanted it. So that's what they've allowed you to do in this latest alpha and it's really awesome. So right now Halo is active. You can see the keen eyes amongst you will probably see it just near my thumb right there. You can see it's basically 99% hidden. You can just see a little edge which just reminds you where it is, you know, and it's uh, pretty cool. So that's it in its hidden state and obviously it will ping out when you get a notification. But let's say you're in an app, let's just open this app right here and I decide that I want to change a music track or I want to start playing music. Now I do have Google Music pinned to my Halo app that you can get from the Google Play Store but with a gesture from right to left where it is hidden you can bring Halo back, you can see it right there you can scroll through your notifications. So let's go into Google Music right here, you can see it opens up I can press play on my Muse and then I can go back to my app and you'll see eventually after a few seconds Halo will again basically completely hide and give you back your whole screen and it's as easy as that it's really awesome so you can just bring it back whenever you want you can open your whatsapp you can go through any app that you have pinned or any notification that you currently have you can access that as easy as that do whatever you want and then go back into your app and again halo will hide out of your screen so that you get your full screen experience so that is one of the most wanted features and it works really well now another feature that i was happy to see was blacklists and this wasn't introduced in Alpha 9, but I think it was introduced in Alpha 7 or 8. But it's pretty damn awesome. So right now I have Lux, and Lux is my auto brightness. It's a persistent notification, and any of you that have Lux and use Halo will know exactly what I mean. Every time uh, Lux refreshes, it pings Halo, and it's really kind of annoying because you don't want that in your Halo. You don't want to be reminded that Lux is always doing something. So they've allowed you to blacklist apps, and it's as simple as going into the settings, clicking apps, We'll find Lux because it's a good example. Uh, where are you, Lux? Here we go. And underneath that, you can see blacklist notifications for Halo. I've got it ticked. And that's all you need to do to blacklist any app. And I haven't had any problems with this. Now when my uh, Lux refreshes, when I turn on the screen and turn it back off and stuff like that, this would normally ping Halo because it's refreshed and the widget kind of refreshes itself in the notifications. Now you can see my Halo doesn't ping, so I don't get notified when Lux is doing something because I blacklisted it. So any app that you don't want to show in Halo, you can basically blacklist and it won't show. So two pretty amazing features right there. Peace out.